Hello, everybody. I'm Ji Hye An from Busan National University in South Korea. I will present my work on lay splitting multiple access for a multi antenna broadcast channel under practical scenario in which perfect CSI is not available at receiver as well as transmitter. This is a joint work with Honor Dijard, Bruno Klux from Imperial College London, and Won Jae Shin from Busan National University. I believe that the most of attendees in this workshop are familiar with the key concept of RSMA. So I will only briefly explain RSMA due to time limitation. The distinct feature of RSMA is the split of messages into common and private part. The common parts are combined and encoded to one common stream that can be decoded by all users. On the other hand, each of the private message is encoded in a private stream, which is decoded by only its corresponding user. Since the common part is decoded by all user, the common signal is decoded first, and the private signal is decoded after removing the common signal through successive interference cancellation called SIC. RSMA has a flexibility by adjusting the messages and power allocated to common and private stream. Such a flexibility leads to performance enhancement in terms of spectral and energy efficiency and robustness against imperfect channel state information at transmitter called CSIT. The robustness of the RSMA against imperfect CSIT has been investigated in the previous studies. However, there has been no consideration for imperfect CSIR in the literature. This motivates us to consider both imperfect CSIR and CSIT when optimizing pre-coding design on RSMA. In this paper, we consider a multi-user MISO system operating in downlink. There are base stations equipped with N sub T antenna and K single antenna users. One common stream and K private stream are transmitted and each stream is assumed to be Jerome's univariance Gaussian random variable. And it is pre-coded by pre-coding vector P. The transmit power is constrained by total power P sub T. Y sub k indicates the received signal of user k, and the signal is transmitted through channel h sub k, and indicate Gaussian noise. Let's move on the system model of imperfect CSIR. We assume that the user does not know the actual channel due to channel estimation error and channel mobility. Also, to focus on impact of imperfect CSIR, for RSMA, we assume that there is no loss in channel feedback. Thus, all user and base station know the expectation of the channel H hat sub k and the covariance of the channel error pi sub k. The covariance is assumed to be an identity matrix multiplied by sigma squared sub e k. One of the problem with the imperfect CSIR is that it is difficult to determine an explicit achievable length since the user does not know the actual channel. To solve this problem, the concept of the generalized mutual information called GMI is used in order to characterize the achievable length. It has been revealed that GMI corresponds to an achievable rate when a user uses a nearest neighbor decoder and the input is Gaussian distribution. When considering a point-to-point -point case with channel error E, a general form of GMI is expressed in below. If there are no channel error, so H hat is actual channel and sigma sub H is zero, GMI is equal channel capacity. By applying GMI to RSMA, we can obtain rate for a common and private stream. We drive rate of common stream first like this. 
and rate of pipe stream is derived using received signal after SIC comma stream. However, the comma stream cannot be removed perfectly since user does not know the actual channel. Thus, the part of comma stream associated with channel error remain after SIC. So using that equation, rate of private stream is derived as shown in below. Main focus of this paper is to optimize pre-coding vectors for maximizing the sum rate of RSMA under imperfect CSIR and CSIT. The problem has non-convexity since the derived achievable rate has non-convexity. Therefore, since the problem is difficult to solve, we solve the problem through the following optimization step. In first step, for simplicity, by using a combined pre-coding vector, P, and assuming all transmit power is used, the achievable rate are simplified into matrix form as shown in equation on the right. Matrix A, B, D are shown in below. As you can see from the equation, regardless of the magnitude of pre-coding vector P, the value of rate is same, since the quadratic form of P is located both in denominator and numerator. So the existing power constraint can be ignored. Even after simplification, the object function still has no convexity. Thus, in second step, we use ROR and offer bound of denominator and numerator of late equation and derive the row bound of some late. The row bound of some late is obtained by the difference of a simple variable as a far row. Using that, we transform the problem to a row bound optimization problem. This refers to the transformed problem. Existing object function and constraint are transformed into convex, but it is still non-convex problem due to the added lower and upper bound constraint. All four constraints are non-convex due to the negative second term, which is concave function. So to solve that problem, we apply SDR for two constraints above and apply CCGP for remaining two constraints. This is a detailed process on how SDR and CCGP are applied. SDR is a representative technique transforming non-convex quadratic function to convex function. As the first step, by converting P times P Hermitian to matrix X, these two constraints are added. Of this, by removing the non-convex rank constraint, non-convex constraint is relaxed to convex. However, additional step is required to find solution that satisfy the rank one constraint, which is removed. The idea of CCCP is to linearize the concave function through first order Taylor series approximation. By linearizing second term based on B sub K to the S minus one, the constraint transform to convex. S refer to iteration number. Finally, we can obtain the soft problem at S iteration, that is convex problem. This convex problem can be easily solved by using CBOX toolbox. The values of linearization point B sub K to the S minus one and T sub K S minus one are updated by the solution B sub K and T sub K, and it is repeated until convergence. As the final step, we use randomization approach for finding solution satisfying the rank one constraint that is removed by SDR. This table shows overall proposed algorithm. Through the right figure, we can observe that the proposed algorithm converts to finite point as the number of iterations increase. In simulation, we consider two user scenario and provide simulation results to compare with existing multiple access 
NOMA, SDMA, OMA. As shown in table, these conventional strategies are a subset of RSMA by setting some of the power of a particular stream to zero. NOMA and SDMA are optimized by modifying proposed algorithm. For OMA, we apply maximum ratio transmission called MRT to free coding vector and assume that the same time resource is allocated to user 1 and user 2 for fairness. No info sigma e rabels of figure in next page indicate that the base station has no information about channel error. This figure shows some rate according to SNR when base station has two antenna and channel error variance is 0 0.05. When using GMI as the rate under imperfect CSI, the user does not have actual channel, so the user treats all signal associated with the channel error as interference. So when SNR increase, the rate are saturated because the interference from channel error also increased as the desired signal transmit power is increased. As shown in figure, regard the risk of the present or absent of error information, RSMA has better performance than other multiple access scheme. We also compare simulation results of RSMA with the proposed pre-coding vector and existing fixed pre-coding vector, geroprocin and MRT. Geroprocin and MRT are applied to private part and power location and pre-coding vector of common stream are optimized based on modified algorithm. We simulate under various channel error variance condition. On the perfect CSI, it is well known that MRT is near optimal in low SNR, and geroprocing is op asymptotically optimal in high SNR. But there is no longer proper in an imperfect CSIR and CSIT scenario due to channel error. For example, when channel error variance is 0 0.4, MRT is near optimal even in high SNR. Therefore, as shown in figure, RSMA with optimized vector has better performance than RSMA with a specific precoding vector regarding the risk of the channel error variance and SNR. In this paper, we have optimized a precoding design of RSMA under imperfect CSIR and CSIT for some lane maximization. For that, we propose alternative algorithm based on SDR and CCCP. The simulation result has shown that RSMA has a robust performance under imperfect CSIR. In this paper, it is assumed that channel feedback is transmitted without loss. In the future work, we plan to study RSMA with not only the channel estimation error, but also error caused by channel feedback. These are the papers we referenced. If you have any question, please ask a question through the Hoover site or email us at the address below. Thank you for listening to the presentation.